welcome back to day 10 of our 30 days of yoga journey to yogi so today we have another inversion for you we have downward facing dog um this is a fun one but for a lot of people um at least um in my classes this is one that sometimes gets to be a little scary um but i just want to tell you i want you to trust yourself during this practice today today we're going to focus on trusting ourselves and strengthening and stretching our entire body this pose does just that so if you want to work on your balance your flexibility your strength and get a little stretch this is going to be the pose for you so i'm going to go ahead and offer you our affirmation for today and it is calmness radiates throughout my entire body calmness radiates throughout my entire body we want to embody calmness here okay so again i invite you to trust yourself today let's go ahead and make ourselves to our mat we're going to come starting in a tabletop position so what you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure that your knees are right underneath your hips okay and you're going to bring your hands Normally, when we're in our tabletop position, our hands are right underneath our shoulders, but for downward dog, that is not um, the case. You bring your hands a little bit extended out in front of you. So if you're here, just walk the hands slightly in front, like so. You wanna take your fingertips and you're gonna spread them nice and wide, establishing a nice strong base in the wrist. Um, and then you take your toes and you're gonna tuck your toes like so. So the tips of the toes are on our mat, um, pressing firmly into our mat here. I want you to take your gaze, you're gonna look straight ahead or slightly down at our mat, okay? So just bring the gaze slightly down at our mat. I'm looking at my exhale sign on my mat. On the exhale, we're going to exhale. And as we exhale, we're going to lift and raise our knees off the mat, bringing our hips, pointing them back towards the ceiling or the sky. Now, you're gonna take your shoulders, you wanna make sure you roll them back and see if you can bring those elbows in a little bit so we're not here. Then bring those elbows, rotate them in just a little. Take your gaze, look through the space in between your hands, and look, you can always keep your knees bent here. To take it a little bit further, we're gonna continue with the exhale, straighten out the knees, pressing the heels of the feet back towards the ground, and press the hands, bringing the ears nice and parallel to the shoulders, bringing that belly in towards the rib cage here, if this feels like a little bit much and you're feeling the blood um, rush to the head, again, take a slight bend in the knee, look through those fingers, look through the space in between the hands, okay? And let's just take a few moments to breathe. You're gonna breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, or in a natural breathing pattern. Anytime you feel that you need to take a rest, just gently bring the knees back down to the mat and stretch it out. And then you can return back to your practice. Continue to breathe. You can always pedal the feet back and forth to get a nice, amazing calf muscle stretch as well. Two more breaths. Remember to stay calm. Calmness is radiating throughout the body right now. And let's exhale. Exhale, drop the knees back down to the mat and come back into a seated position. From here, let's just take our shoulders and gently roll them back. Nice little shoulder rotations. One more. And reverse, roll them up or roll them forward. So if you have tight shoulders um, and tight hamstrings, you might have found some difficulty within that pose, but this is how we continue to stretch it out, okay? And right here, bring the hands onto each side of us and let's inhale up. 
Exhale it down. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And you know, palms and hands are together here, my friend. Exhale down to the center of our hearts. Calmness radiates throughout my entire body. Thank you for practicing with me. And I hope that you're continuing on with your 30 day challenge. Namaste, my friend. So if you're wondering why I am in a different location and I am inside of a gym, I wanted to show you that no matter where you're at, yoga is a space for you. You can make a space for yoga anywhere. So I am traveling. I am in Dayton, Ohio, and I'll be here for the week. So the next five videos that you're going to see are going to have this background, okay? But here's the thing. I'm in a hotel that have a fitness gym and I want to do yoga. So I can do it in my hotel room, but I needed to get out of there. So I came down to the fitness gym and I'm recording. So there's never any excuses why we can't get on our mat and why we can't practice. They even had yoga mats in here for me. I brought my own Lysol wipes and I wiped them bad boys down, but I had my mat. It's just when I'm working with other people, if they don't have a mat, we always have options. So. I just want to put that little disclaimer here at the end of this video. So if you're wondering and you have questions, that's what's happening. But also just know yoga is accessible for everybody and anywhere, no matter if you're at home or on the go. Okay? So